Yeah, music is powerful stuff. Yeah, music, music, powerful stuff. Welcome to MIPS. <laughs> You're watching Music It's Powerful Stuff <laughs> live at District Recording in San Jose, California. I'm your host, Mike Park, along with my special guest, the Moore Family Band. Also from San Jose, California. I think this is our first band from San Jose. And uh, we have the siblings of Dylan, Alyssa, Randy. Hello, Mike. Thank you for coming. Hello. Thanks for having us. So I guess this is actually, we, we think about it, this is actually your first show ever because you guys were created during the pandemic because you were bored and just started playing music together. So this is actually your first show. That's pretty cool. Yes. A little That's nervous. Cool. But yeah, you I'm should excited. be nervous. It's, ah! <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be. This is your career. If you screw up, it's over. Okay, let's start with Dylan. Dylan, how do you like? I heard you work at Safeway. Yeah, I work at Safeway. For those who don't live in the West Coast, Safeway is a grocery store, and you are a checker. That's correct. How much you make an hour? Don't worry about it. No, seriously, more than twenty? No. Eighteen? No. Seventeen fifty? Sure. How much have you saved? How much is in your bank account? A lot. More than 6000 Sure. Alyssa, <laughs> is, is Dylan lying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who's a better singer, Dylan or Randy? Dylan. Dylan, for sure. Who's a better I'm... singer, you or Dylan? Me. Ooh. <laughs> Some people on the couch might disagree. <laughs> Who One. Has... One out of three. <laughs> Have all three of you played Words with Friends? Yeah, I when did. it came out in 2008. Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Can you beat your mom? No. No, she, she cheats. She'll pull out the dictionary and oh. get you. No, she doesn't pull out the dictionary. Dad pulls out the dictionary. That's not Dad's good. Dad's a huge cheater. He doesn't have it himself. He plays her games. <laughs> yeah, he does. Okay, Randy, as the eldest, I feel like you're the leader of the band. Would you say Would you say Randy is the leader? Like he's like the... <laughs> I guess. The David Cassidy of <laughs> the band? If you want to put a label on it, sure. Okay, like he makes he makes like uh, critical choices. He's a behind the scenes leader. Ah, very good. So, do you feel a lot of stress? Because I feel like this is it. If you don't make it in this band, your career is over. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I feel like I kind of spearhead the whole operation, but it's fun. So, yeah, I like, I like doing it. How important is your hair? Oh, I think my biggest fear in life is going bald. <laughs> <laughs> is there any chance you're gonna go bald from just like your grandparents? That's what everyone says, and I think it's a, a wives' tale. Because really? like our mom's dad is bald. Oh yeah, you're screwed. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm screwed. <laughs> That's gonna suck. Oh, it's whatever. So okay, so I noticed like the live streams I've seen for the Moore Family Band. You're never in there. What's going on? Why are you I'm not working there? at Safeway, dude? How many hours are you working? He's busting his ass. Six thousand dollars worth of hours. Not... <laughs> Man, you got to find a better job. Have you seen the etching in the new Moore Family Band record? No. All right. What's this first song we're gonna hear for the Moore Family Band? Uh, this first song that we're going to be playing is called "Raining Inside My Head." Raining inside my head. The Moore Family Band on music. It's powerful stuff.
my head What about the moment How it keeps raining inside my head That was Raining Inside My Head by the Moore Family Band, live at District Recording. So how'd you feel after that first song? Feeling pretty good. Ready for the next one. I know. That's good. And then tell us about the 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 supporting band that you have playing with you. It's most of the members that get married, correct? Yeah. Uh, for those of the viewers that don't know, Dylan and I are also in a band called Get Married. And uh, on bass, we have Kayla Gonzalez. And on other guitar, we have Tarf Papu. And then on keyboard and synth, we have our friend jason the j-dog Kiorian, who is like the unofficial uh seventh member of get married oh sick do you guys want to tour do you have any aspirations to tour dylan <laughs> <laughs> uh not at the moment we're currently under a uh, lockdown when things so. clear up are you done already at age 21 have you s- hit the ceiling i've of- seen a lot of stuff oh. <laughs> yes you have Alyssa, you want a tour Yes. I know you want a tour. What is preventing you from touring? Are you ready to like settle down? I like my bed. That's I like just hanging out. Trust me, I totally understand. So if they went on tour without you, would you feel hurt? Only if they let me play the big shows. Yeah, look at you. I love it. I'm going to let you play every show except for Madison Square Garden. Sheesh. That's sick. Okay, so what are your influences? Start with Alyssa. Um, Not for this band, just in general. Just what do you listen general, to? Uh, I listen to Taylor Swift and Lizzo, a lot of Harry Styles, One Direction person. <laughs> One Direction? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can make fun of me. It's okay. It's all good. Um, who else? I'm a big Amy Winehouse person. I love She's Amy She's one Winehouse. of my big, big inspos for the voice. For sure. Dylan, what did you... As, I mean, you can play multiple multiple instruments. You're a guitarist also, but yeah. Wh- what do you like? Who do you like? Um, I grew up with a lot of classic rock, so playing drums, it's like John Bonham, Keith Moon, Dave Grohl is one of them. So a lot of that, and then growing up in like the 2000s, it's a lot of pop and hip hop stuff. So just a combination of that, I feel like that's a uh, a lot of what I listen to. Do you have any flow? Can you uh, MC? Can you do any of that kind of stuff? Not really. Let me hear you. Freestyle. Nope. All right. <laughs> Randy, I know you're like the punk enthusiast of the band, would you say? I know you're a big Alkaline Trio fan. That's I feel like that's how we kind of met was yeah. through Alkaline Trio and um, Get Married. Yeah. Alkaline Trio is a big band that I like. Um, Dylan and I grew up a lot playing like 80s metal stuff, okay. like Metallica, Megadeth, Slayer, stuff like that. Like We got a lot of that from my mom. And my dad was like the classic rock guy, like Dylan was talking about. Like he likes the Eagles and stuff like that. But I like a lot of whatever, like you know, the Beatles. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I like a lot of different stuff. Like Phoebe Bridgers is like a big artist that I'm listening to right now, and okay. she's she's come out. Uh, Dylan, could you play Double Kick? No problem. Uh, I haven't in a while, but I I could do it. Like ten minutes practice, I could I could. <laughs> Have you heard me do Double Kick? I've seen that video. Yeah. It's really good. Hell yeah, it is. Did you get double kick for your 12th birthday? 11th birthday. 11th birthday. My 11th birthday. He got a double kick poet for his 11th birthday. That's sick. Okay, so what's this next song we're going to hear? This next song is going to be Yelling Out of Tune. Yelling Out of Tune. The Moore Family Band. Live at District Recording. Music, it's powerful stuff. My shield is fogging up.
That was yelling out a tune by the Moore Family Band live at District Recording on music. It's powerful stuff. Let's so let's talk about the new album. Uh, it just came out, I believe. What was the street date on that record? Was it December fourth? December fourth. Yeah. And we we had the vinyl was delayed a little bit, but we got that in and we finished shipping it out to all the pre-order people. Um, I'm personally, I I love the record. I think it's great. Um, Thank you. Yeah. So Thank Dylan, you. tell me about the record. I love the record. I thought it was great. They did a lot of the work, mm-hmm. and uh, Randy programmed a lot of drums and had demos, so a lot of it was just doing what he already set up for me and then kind of adding my own flavor to it. So what about the harmonies? Did, did Randy work on the harmonies, or were those all yours? Uh, all, most of those were, were me, yeah. Ah. So we, for, for you, Alyssa, this is the first like recorded output you've had. Huh? Yeah, this is like my first big thing in the music world. How, how was it for you just being in the studio? Were you nervous? Uh, I actually felt really comfortable. Uh, District is a really cool and comfortable place to record. And, you know, doing all the demos beforehand with Randy uh, just kind of felt like we were back in Randy's room. And oh, yeah, I was just yeah, recording yeah. and singing back there again. That's true. I, I got to hear all the demos and... That's probably the best way because I, I usually, for myself, when I record, I never demo stuff. I just kind of go in the studio. So I could tell you guys were really rehearsed and the vocals actually, I was impressed. I think Thank Ryan you. Paris, the, the producer of the record, he he did a great job on, on the vocals. Very he exciting. definitely did. Exciting. Yes. Thank you, Shout out to Ryan. Ryan. So, um, yeah, again, uh, this is the Moore Family Band from San Jose, California. Thanks for joining Music It's Powerful Stuff. And, uh, after the pandemic, I'm excited to see you guys out and about and playing shows and uh, being nice to each other as siblings. <laughs> we love each Thank other. You. Yeah. I love uh, the Moore Family Band, and uh, you're watching music. It's powerful stuff. Live at District Recording in San Jose, California. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye-bye.